Researchers from the University of Hawaii at Manoa are working with Maui-based company Pacific Biodiesel to develop a way to make water from restaurant grease traps reusable. The collaboration is an example of a new type of partnership between local businesses and the state's public university. It's kind of a novel incubator way to bridge technology from the university into industry and vice versa. UH has brought the technology to apply to this problem that we have that has a real world um, economic model that's waiting for it to be invented. Wastewater from dishwashing and cleaning kitchens would clog sewer lines because of the oils it contains. Restaurants are required to have grease traps to prevent this from happening and pay companies like Pacific Biodiesel to remove and transport that wastewater to sewer plants. The plants charge a higher fee to dispose of it because it takes more energy to treat. Pacific Biodiesel wants to recycle the grease trap water, which would be better for the environment, increase the company's profit margin, and reduce grease trap service fees for restaurants. It makes it so much harder to do the right thing if it's more expensive. The more we can do to, to make this efficient and cost effective, then the easier it is to get into the market. The technology UH Manoa researchers from the Hawaii Natural Energy Institute are developing may end up having a global impact on the wastewater industry. Most of that reuse and recycling comes into play through small businesses that start something in a local environment where they make a little bit of money out of it. When small businesses can make it work over five or seven years, then the big business will come in and buy them up and then it becomes nationalized. UH developed a high-rate anaerobic digestion system, or HRAD, that uses a type of charcoal called biochar to treat the wastewater on site while creating methane. With HRAD, we digest ourselves, make methane that we can use as fuel, and it becomes a net gain instead of a net loss. After successful lab experiments, a test scale system was built and installed at Pacific Biodiesel's Oahu facility. Normally, university researchers do all of their work in a lab and are not involved when it's applied to a real world situation. Oftentimes, the solutions don't work because of this disconnect. In this partnership, UH researchers and the people who will actually use the technology work together, solving problems as they come up. That interaction does create what I consider to be kind of a hybrid intelligence. We're providing the real, real world working lab that they can come try their ideas at, and it's a great, it's a great thing for us. Pilot Tech Parks in industry governed under research agreements that are corporate to corporate between the university and the company that allow any faculty member to go down there. Creating an environment where everyone benefits, the researchers, local businesses, and all of Hawaii. We really are state employees that really ought to be helping the local community.